pain, swelling, and making it harder and harder to type. According to Cheryl Cohen in her book, Rheumatoid Arthritis, Plan to Win, nearly 3 million Americans suffer from rheumatoid arthritis. It happens when you're older, usually the age of 40 and above, but it can still affect teenagers. I wanted to tell you about this disease because I have had it for the last two years and I'm only 17. So today, I'm here to inform you about the symptoms, causes, and treatments of rheumatoid arthritis. As different symptoms start to arise, you may wonder what is wrong with your body. According to mayoclinic.org, these are just a few of them. It'll start with tender, warm, and swollen joints. Here is someone with rheumatoid arthritis in their joints, and here is a normal person. As you can see, it is dark red where it's swollen, and this one has lesser because it's not as swollen. Rheumatoid arthritis usually happens in your smaller joints, like your hands, fingers, toes, and feet. But it can also spread to your knees, ankles, elbows, hips, wrists, and shoulders. You may also get morning stiffness that can last up to hours. And notice little bumps of tissue under the skin. Lesser symptoms are fatigue, fevers, and weight loss. And symptoms can come and go at any point. You may have little or major activity. But it's best to seek a doctor either way. There's also a few different causes of RA. Although doctors don't know the exact cause, they think it could be caused from wear and tear on the joints, having too much activity. Another reason is genetics, just simply being passed down from your family. Also, just environmental factors. And some even believe that it is infections within bacteria or virus. There are a little few treatments to RA as well. Although there is no cure, there are some a few medications that release the swelling. NSAIDs are anti-inflammatory medicines. There is also a few steroids out there and biologic agents, but those aren't as good because they increase infections in you. The doctor may also tell you to go to therapy to make your joints more flexible so you can so they're less stiff and you can still move them. If those two things don't work, they may inform you to go to surgery. A few of the surgeries are total joint replacement and tendon repair, also joint fusion. Rheumatoid arthritis can be a very bad thing if you let it go on for too long without seeking treatments. As Harry B. Fisher said, if you don't take care of yourself, it can impact your life in a very bad way. So it's best to always stay educated. You should know the symptoms, causes, and treatments. That is why I should told you them today. Because you can easily get it, no matter what your age. Imagine what it would be like to sit in class or in work and struggling to type or write, or waking up with pain and swelling in your joints. This is something that could happen to you.